Yo, hello everyone. Welcome to the College Humor Podcast. I am your host for today, Teo Yang. Ooh. 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 Spicy. Spicy. <laughs> Can we say it? Um, uh, if you're watching on CH2 or watching on your podcast app, uh, if you get onto dropout.tv and subscribe, you can get it. Get these episodes earlier. By mm-hmm. how long? Some amount of time. Lord knows. Lord knows. It's a um, mystery. That's could be a fine. week. Could be years. A year. A yeah. year. Any, anywhere in that time range. Uh, and you can also get on Discord, our Discord server, and chat with all all of us here. Yeah. Um, someone sent me a fun gift on Discord. Someone sent me a, a turkey costume. Oh, that's what? Fun. Yeah, so they did. Um, yeah. mm-hmm. Wait, wait, is it a gift of a turkey costume? It's a, a it's gift. A, it's a, a gift. gift. A present? I heard uh, gift. A, a no. gift. A, a present. physical a present. Someone yeah. sent it to you. Someone sent it to yeah. me. Which in makes me feel like you should have asked for something better, except yeah. you didn't ask for it. <laughs> you I didn't physically ask for got it? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's in my desk. You, have you worn it? I worn it. It's a little small for me. Yeah. It's a Virginia Tech uh, turkey mascot mm. costume. Oh wow! Okay. So now yeah. people know you can just mail things. <laughs> <laughs> it's a public. It's a public address. Um, Great. <laughs> but so that's yeah. me. Why don't we go around saying like who we are, what our name is, all that stuff? Sure. Uh, my name is Ryan Creamer. I just moved here. And uh, no one has sent me any mascots in the mail yet, but I am hoping for a Marilyn Terrapin. Um, mm, so if anyone. Marilyn, let's Maryland. go! Mm-hmm. Boo, boo. Three of us are from Maryland. Kellen's from Ohio. Not true. <laughs> so and not true. Uh, you San could Diego. And not true. send Kellen some sort We're of the Buckeye. And that's not in where Maryland. I'm from. You're from Ohio. I am not from Ohio. I'm from Iowa. Ohio. It's different. You're not listening. Idaho? Not listening. One of the potatoes ones. and no corn. Ottawa, Iowa, no at, Ontario. At, now, genuinely, does that happen a lot? Frequently, yeah. all the time. I like my own my own my own friends will be like, yeah, this is Kalani's from Ohio, and yeah, like, and, and that's the thing, and I'm not. It, I mean, you just said it, and I genuinely thought. You what genuinely is don't know. Iowa known for? Corn. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, for a while, we were number one in education. Now we're number nine. Cool. Uh, is that a big Hoosiers? jump? Hoosiers too? Nope, that's, uh, that's <laughs> Indiana. Indiana. Yeah, that's, that, was, that, was, that was real. That was a uh, <laughs> University of Iowa was the number one uh, party school for a long okay. time. Champaign-Urbana? No, that's no, Illinois. And that's Illinois. <laughs> and, and this is miserable. <laughs> uh, and then... Uh, we we also did produce a lot of uh, a certain drug uh, for a long time. Which one? Great. Uh, meth. Oh, cool. Uh, oh, you got good Breaking one. Bad, you guys have seen it. Yeah, that's yeah. 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 That's not it. No, that's. <laughs> that's I couldn't even Mexico. think of the state still. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Do uh, you guys know where Iowa is on a map? Yeah. Uh, the middle. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, right in the middle, it is yeah, next yeah. to Ohio, right? Uh, no. Uh, it's it's not, next to Idaho? It's further west. It's not even close to Iowa. Next to Wisconsin. It is touching Wisconsin. Oh! Yes. Try. Iowa's always to, further west than I think. It's Illinois and Iowa and then uh, South Dakota and Minnesota, Nebraska. Okay. All in that. Okay, but do you know what surrounds Maryland? Uh, no, and here's Name the thing. Them. Don't care. <laughs> 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 Don't care. <laughs> We're <Wow. laughs> outnumbered, unfortunately. What do you guys okay. have there? Crabs? Yeah. The food? Yeah. Crabs. What do we know? State bird, the a, Orioles. A state bird. State flower, right. the and Black Eyed Susan. Uh, yeah, that's right. Commuting to DC. State sport, state jousting. Any of this do it for you? Yes. State sport. It is. We have to learn these things in elementary school, right? Did you guys not? You learn all the state. No, fourth things. grade. They were like, "Here's Maryland's everything." And yeah. jousting yes. was. I do remember learning all like the state like birds and yeah. mottos of every single state. Yeah. The Iowa State song, not a joke, is to the tune of Oh Christmas Tree. Really? It, Iowa, oh Iowa. Yeah, not a joke. Mm. Very What real. is Maryland Whoa. State song? Uh that I don't know. But I do know the song Small People is maybe banned in the state. Really? Or I dreamt it. <laughs> that sounds like a dream. Ooh, that's a fun segment. Did is I, this a fact or did, did I, Lily dream it? I just, <laughs> there's a lot of chaff floating around in there, and I no longer know what's reality. Is chaff a Maryland a word? No. I think it's a Lily. I think it's like an improv <laughs> word. It might also it's like it's an improv word. You're right. It's an improv word. Like it's like an extra shit floating yes. around. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah. Ryan has a lot of chaff in his bathtub. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> <laughs> That's my main thing. I'll send a picture to the Discord. <laughs> Please do. Yeah, what, is, what, does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? What does that mean? Oh, 
I, Kellen, why don't you explain? Well, you got skin flakes, you got hairs. Uh, you got... That's what we're, we're just talking like general okay. dust. I'm a filthy, nasty freak. Okay. Oh, he's a he's a bad little okay. bath boy. All right, yeah. uh, Ryan, what do you what do you do here at College Humor? So I have brought over to partner with Kellen here in doing uh, social stuff for Instagram and social video in general. And prior in New York, I was just kind of making social content that wasn't video based. So um, a little meme man, Ooh, meme a man, tiny little meme a, a man, very small. Very small. A minuscule meme boy. A meme boy. I'm Man. small, pocket size. You yeah. know what's going to be good for listeners later is when we all talk over each other. <laughs> yeah. This is really an always sunny episode thus far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been great. Um, how was your move over? The move over was good. I Luke Field, who moved over, um, did through Oz Moving, where it's just like a New York to LA moving service. You did they're it as well. Great. Right? They're great. They're uh, great. They were great. Huge plug for this moving company. Um, but it was good. I not. I don't. I'm not afraid of flying, but uh, I get in my head once I'm in the air for a while. Like I think it's the claustrophobia and yeah. like the, I can't yes. move around more than yeah. anything of like the height or any of that. Um, but I went JetBlue, and what a, I'm just throwing out brands right and left and right, baby. These are as great. As long as it's positive, yeah. we keep it I positive. I am not afraid of flying either. Mm. I'm afraid that I'll fall in love in the sky. <laughs> oh, oh, my love. goodness. Love. Yeah, and you're really, really looking for love. <laughs> yeah, we're real sky. romantic. Yeah. Yeah. What are you trying to try just like looking around, making eyes at people, yeah. seeing who's by themselves? Doesn't matter who it is. <laughs> I used to think airports were very romantic, and then truly just riding a plane like six times, oh, sure. I was oh, like, oh, no, no, no. Yeah. I'm covered in sweat. Like, like it is the worst time to meet a human being. Another yeah. human being would be when I'm in the air. Yeah, I mean, for a time, that's when all uh, every rom com had its climax at an airport and like yeah. stopping I someone. Totally. But the chance of sitting next to someone hot in economy class on a red eye in the middle of the row is next to none. I sure. Think. Uh, yeah, and also, I mean, <laughs> no better time to meet someone than when you're just strapped into a vehicle that is moving, you know, yeah. hundreds of miles an hour. Yeah. I had a flight. This is years ago, and it was with like truly a fight club style like <laughs> Tyler Durden like with his like briefcase and was just like wanting to talk very business oriented and was just like let's talk deals man <gasps> was very much like trying to make a sale and I like took something to like, conk myself out and like hey man this isn't personal I just I'm just gonna try to sleep it's not personal you are incredibly bored <laughs> what was, wait, what was yeah. he selling you know what I could yeah. <laughs> yeah little soaps yeah he was selling little soaps I couldn't knives. tell you <laughs> he had a briefcase and knives yeah, yeah but the I was like how did you get these on business. You can bring it on, actually. But I slept through, and then literally as we were landing, I was still sleeping, which is weird. I was totally conked out, and we hit the runway, and uh, I remember waking up, and he's like, wow, you slept through the whole thing. He watched you sleep the yeah. entire time. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. I kept hoping you'd wake up, Whoa. son. <laughs> wow, I love flying, because I like being pampered, and I feel like I'm being pampered. With small I'm bags sorry. of pretzels. Yeah. And no leg room. Even just That's airline. Even, uh, I mean, just the normal. Even just like, uh, well, I can get a drink if I hit a button. Oh, or, sure. Like, Here's half a can of Sprite stuff. and a okay. pretzel. <laughs> yes. I think and you are pampered. I think having to travel for like work and stuff like ruins it for mm -hmm. you. Oh, sure. Just like taking red eyes. Yeah. And, uh, and did you do that a lot? For like touring with UCB for like yeah. improv and stuff. We flew a lot to like the Midwest and flying back out the next day. And that will kill all romance. You're so like, you flew to the Midwest and didn't know anything about Iowa? <laughs> Never heard of it. Like, Sorry, oh, where, are no. where are you Illinois. from? No! Yeah. Um, were there a lot of like issues through Torco with traveling, like flights canceled, all that kind of stuff? No, usually we were pretty lucky, but every once in a while, if a flight did get delayed for weather, it's just an indefinite like purgatory. Yeah, you're just yeah. like you'll be here anywhere between one to nine hours. Mm. See you later. It's insane. Yeah, but I think I think what's nice about a flight is that you can't do you can't do anything. So you can only just like read or like play a game or watch a movie. Right. You can't be expected to like work or do anything. Right. It's yeah. the only time we can yeah. literally be like disconnect from the world. Well, now there's Wi-Fi on planes. That so is actually true. Actually, you can. <laughs> but it's so expensive. <laughs> I know. It's, so, it's like I don't 30, want to be pampered that much. Like, I know. Yeah. Thirty-five dollars for like a uh, like a six-hour flight's worth of Wi-Fi is not worth it. Yeah. Now JetBlue hooks it up. You don't have to pay for it. It's just part of the to, flight. Was it? Wow. I know. Fast. Right? Do you, do you test? watch a movie? It wasn't great. I, well, they had uh, the screens. I watched Beauty and the Beast because the live action remake's very good. 
Is it? I, I like it a lot. Yes. I, I, I enjoy it. I, did you see it? Does no. It <laughs> <laughs> Why did you lie about you that? <laughs> Why are you lying? I, I just want to. Is going. it good? I, it's me testing you and then being like, no, nah, yeah, I agree. <laughs> I like All right. I haven't seen it, but I like it. Great. I watched it. Not to impress me. <laughs> I just want you guys to like okay, it. Okay, cool. Ryan and I have only been working together for, what, now? Almost not even a week. 18 hours. Yeah, but you're spending about, what, 90% of your time here? Yeah, we go home together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go home together? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's sweet. We're roommates. Yep. Oh, that's sweet. Have you seen the odd You live in the bathtub? (laughs) Yeah, it's nasty. Yeah, it's 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 filled with chaff. Filled filled (laughs) with chaff. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, A pet peeve of mine is when people are on, like, uh, public Wi-Fi or, like, uh, like a bolt bus or something like that. Uh, Or if they're on, like, airplane Wi-Fi and they're trying to, like, I'm going to watch. Netflix. Like oh this. yeah, it's like you're ruining it for everyone. It's the, the connection's already so right. slow, and you're gonna try to like stream like The Office right now. Just oh. hogging it, hogging it. Absolutely. Let them hogging. live. No, it Let ruins them, it for everyone. That person, Let clearly. Them live. Now, if I'm like on the subway in New York, if I see someone with their laptop on trying to like freaking do work, I'm like. You know what? That is so bold of you, and something bad is gonna happen to you. Sure. And someone's gonna swipe that laptop or something. So oh, just I've, you know, you're risking it. That I, I'm like okay with. Like you can use the the Wi-Fi on the subway because that's like pretty good. Because the Wi-Fi on the subway is like pretty fast, but it's when you're like you're on like slow like bolt bus. I wifi. do agree with that. Bus Wi-Fi. The solution yeah. to all of these problems: books. Yeah, there uh, you yeah, go. Yeah. Nobody's right hogging out. my book Wi Fi. Yeah, wow. Nobody's jacking okay. my book. But I'm, over I just, your, I'm over your shoulder trying to read a page. And you're I'm, welcome yeah. to it. I love sharing. You a big reader? Uh, I can't. <laughs> Kellen, you read anything? Just lying lying again. Again. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. Folks, I like them. I like, I I'm not going to no. introduce myself on the podcast, and I'm just going to lie. Okay, <laughs> no, but Kellen, introduce yourself. Uh, I am Kellen Schneider. I, how tall? Uh, yeah, how, how tall? I uh, realistically, guys, not gonna lie, five eleven and a half. My driver's license says six foot. Uh, my dating that. profile yeah, says six, six foot. Listen, but I, I'm pretty sure I'm five eleven. That's and a half. totally okay. Do people still know what ASL is? Age ASL language. Yeah, yeah. Okay, not from. Did you say language? Is it not age, no. sex, language? <laughs> <It's> age, <laughs> sex, <laughs> sex, language. <laughs> I just want to say, being on this podcast is a living hell for me, purely because you three have so much in common. <laughs> And I, you're from New York. You're like you all lived in New York you're for a long time. On your ass. This is true. Yeah, and I, any anything I do, I'm like ah, they're gonna know. All right, I'm all right. We're, 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 and we're freaking up. old. Yeah, we're old. Yeah, and oh, you, we're old. before we started rolling, you called me a teenager. <laughs> you're very young, but that's to your benefit. You'll live longer than me. I, <laughs> no, he's young, but he wants to die. Young, but he's a I was making a climate change death. reference, oh. but uh, you know we can oh, bring sure. that. Oh, I thought you were making a life. Lifestyle reference. Uh, no, I, I live a healthy lifestyle. Okay. Now, do <laughs> do people give you the you're young thing a lot? All the time. Yeah. yeah. Is that annoying or is that fun? I mean, like, it's I don't really mind it. It's not like a huge issue. Like, it's a weird thing because like I do stand up and in stand up like the year young thing is very prevalent, and then like yeah. at work like very much so like the year young thing mm-hmm. is prevalent, and then uh, in dating also like uh, yeah. if anybody is older than you, they're like <laughs> you're such a baby, yes. and I'm like. I have just already forgotten how actually old you are, so I say teen, I just throw it out as oh, anyone I'm 30. who's younger than me. I'm, I'm and so that is actually old. older than me, but oh, in and, my eyes, but still in, a no, teen. I'm not. I'm 23, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm like, yeah. So in my mind, I already forgot the 23, and I'm like, he's 19. Like, yeah, I and uh, to a lot of people, that's the, I mean, like, until, I feel like, in, especially in LA, until you're 25, you are 19. I yeah. like mm-hmm. that's. And, I mean, yeah. and there's like the science that talks about like you, your mind age, how you view mm-hmm. yourself is different than your age age, you mm-hmm. know? Yes. Like earlier yeah. when you said strawberry bar bar, and now I'm saying age age. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's fun. It's just kind of like a fun thing. Totally. Okay, this so his mind is still a sponge and ours is <laughs> done. Yes. Ours is uh, over with. B- but yeah, we do social stuff together. That's what our That's job true. is. Uh, yeah. And uh, it's been, it's actually like very fun. It because is very like fun. today we just sat up in a room and made videos and mm-hmm. we we're just goofing off. It was very fun. That's uh, fun goof offs. We're Very just fun, fun, we're fun goof, silly goof offs. That's the two things about us. Have you introduced yourself? Hi, I'm Lily Do. <laughs> <laughs> From Maryland. Yeah, baby. From Maryland. Mm, crabs. Uh, crabs. Crabs. Terrapins. Maryland. Rockville. What is a terrapin? It's, it's a, a turtle. Type of turtle. <laughs> Just, so here's the thing, just say turtle, because why well, call it a terrapin? Because nobody knows what that the is. Because it's Maryland Terps? Yeah, they do say fear the turtle as their yeah. Uh, yeah. slogan. I've never once a in my life. A very scary <laughs> animal. No, but you should see this one. This one's angry. Is it one of those big, muscly, rockin' looking ones? 
Um, I think they've gone through. I think you're thinking of a Ninja Turtle. Oh, yeah. Right. Yep, so you know what? That, that is what famously I, scary turtle. Is it one of those big ones that lives in a sewer, <laughs> eats pizza, has a bandana over its yep. eyes, yeah. has yeah. weapons? Yeah. That's a terrible. And that's a terrible. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, fam I'm familiar. Yeah. I do genuinely like every sports team. It's mostly minor league baseball teams that have like a very non-threatening, like they're the chipmunks or oh, something. Oh yeah, I, think a that's tree. So I like fun. like when it's not even an animal. They're like, we're a friggin' tree. And I'm like, yeah. it's so patronizing because they're not in the big leagues. So it's even more like, yeah. not only are you not where you want to be, but also you are, a, <laughs> yeah. you're a bumblebee. So, yeah. and that's there's like the yeah. Montgomery biscuits, which is just like a, a stack of pancakes. That's <laughs> really, yeah, it's got a big mouth. That's a, that's a best. It's honestly, it's, it's adorable. It's like a baseball team. I think it's a triple A baseball Ooh, team. Oh, that's cute. I, yeah, yeah, I want more of that. I feel like too many major league teams try to look the design, cool. look cool, cool, and be the name. I don't need that. Yeah. You are always a proponent of the wholesome. Like that is, oh, yeah. you're very much. Oh, yes. Yeah, get like a fun uh, reindeer team or something. I don't know. Ooh, a little seasonal. Have you guys yeah. seen how big moose are? Have you seen one in real life? I have haven't. You see but one? <laughs> <laughs> Lying again. Stop, stop Lying. challenging everything I say. How is it a <laughs> Why don't you just tell us a true thing about you? Where are you really from? Yeah. What's your what real language? Your I was born what's in a cave. Your, what's your actual language? My, ASL. I was, I was flown here on a ship many, many years ago. <laughs> You were Whoa, flown here on a ship? On an airship? Like a, ze and like a Zeppelin? boy, was he pampered. And okay. boy, was I pampered. That one was not me trying to get on your ass. That was genuine curiosity. You Because you, got, you know nothing about Iowa. You thought I had seen a moose? Is no. That... Well, you could... People travel. I don't know. Who? <laughs> to like enough. Alaska, True. that's where it's a But real... if you, you really do need to look up how big a moose is, like, because in your moose. head you have a perception of how big a moose is. Right. Yeah. But they're, they're massive. Even when I see horses, I'm like... Right, Four. but yeah. then once you figure out, once you like have put into context how big a moose is, then know that this is true. Killer whales are natural natural predators of moose. How so do they get to what, them? What when when moose are what swimming between uh, the archipelagos, yeah, in yeah, in, in Alaska, when they're swimming between islands, killer whales will come up and just eat them. Is that not insane? I didn't even know moose wow. swam. They yeah. do. I, yeah. I learned this from Dudley Do-Right. I thought they Do sank. They just sank <laughs> yeah. they're, they're heavy like a like big old rock. <laughs> I just didn't think they went in the water. Yeah. I just thought they walked on land. Well, it shows how yeah. much you know about moose. Oh, yeah. no, I don't know a thing about Clearly. a moose. Uh, cool. I did know that you, if you run in, like, if your car drives into it, you can die. Like, moose yeah. yes. will They will wreck you your you car. Yeah, yeah. You gotta, well, if you see it, you gotta, you gotta go. You gotta go faster, yeah. I hear they'll light your car on fire. Yeah. Yeah, I heard With their hot fire breath. <laughs> yeah, they'll slander your family and your name. They're they rude animals. They'll yeah. ruin your legacy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I am so glad I've never seen yeah. one. Yeah. Um, should we should we play the game that we have? Yes, uh, uh, I brought it in my yes. pocket. Yes. We have a fun game. Do you guys know about this game? Did uh, we, anyone brief you on it? I okay, don't believe so. Great. No, they literally just said show up at this room right now, and we're like, all right, <laughs> let's yeah. go. Yeah, we're gonna play a little game. <laughs> um, this game has been on this show before. It is. Cocktail or crime fiction novel by best-selling author Michael Connolly. Wonderful. Question mark? Yes. Wonderful. If you guess the cocktail, what's in it? If it's a novel, what's it about? Oh wow, right. great. A little okay. thing to expand your palate. Cool. We'll, what happens if we get it wrong? We'll Are we in around. trouble? You got it. Yeah. yeah. I whip ya. We'll take <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, first question mm. is void moon. Boy. Is this question to anyone specifically or to the group? Good question. We can do the group. To mm -hmm. the group. To the group. You know, all the of them, Ryan has to answer. Oh, all okay. I, mean, I, don't even, I don't even know the answer. I don't. It's not visible to me right Lily now. Lily doesn't know. Void Moon. Void mm. Moon. To that's me, like that's, a, that's a novel. I mean, to that me, is that's a novel. novel. I that's, think it's a cocktail. That's a you drink can, to me. Yeah. Ooh, we split, 50 50 50 something what with you, like a little white moon like berry and a dark ooh, liqueur. Wow. I'm glad you took wow. that because I had no idea what drinks are made. Now I, 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 know that, I know that I'm right, but I want you to be right. <laughs> well, that sounds really good. Doesn't it sound tasty? That does sound really good. Pop a little lychee in there. What's the name of the author again? Is I don't. Michael Connolly. Which so I the, the, was the a book fake the book person. follows uh, a protagonist named Lacey Dupont. Great, uh -huh. and she of the Dupont fortune of the Dupont fortune, and she uh, Void Moon is it's she's it's not about astrology. You think it would be, mm -hmm. uh, but she is uh, I believe an international businesswoman who also has a flair for like dark dealings and stuff. Ooh. Yes, and a little, little back room market. cigar filled room. Yeah, wow. yeah, dealings. But it's cool because it follows a female protagonist in a world that is predominantly dominant, like men dominated. Yeah, sure. and so, written by uh, men. Yes. And yeah. it's written by man. Right. And that's what we need. Uh, yeah. And 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 he's pandering and that and that's weird. But sure. um 
Yeah, it's, I, I've read it. It's fantastic. All right, the here, here is the answer. Novel. Cassie Black is another beautiful woman in a Porsche, except she just did six years in prison and still has, quote, quote, outlaw juice flowing in outlaw her veins. Juice. Outlaw juice! That's a cocktail. Gotta get that. that out of here. Outlaw juice is a kid rock song. You gotta IV that shit out. Now Cassie is returning to her old profession, taking down a money man in Vegas, but the perfect heist goes very wrong, and suddenly oh, no. Cassie is on the run. At least she's got the outlaw juice. Whoa. Good well, God. God. Can you imagine if she did it? Goodness. I want to say I felt pretty close on that one. I mean, that was <laughs> yeah. very close. I mean, another girl in a Porsche is, uh, wow. I know. Just <laughs> wow. another gal in a Porsche. That is yeah. how you know that book was written by a dude. Sure. Because yeah. it, the, the tagline for it starts off with, a, a nut, she's not just another hot girl in a Porsche. <laughs> yeah. It's like, all right. <laughs> and listen, I know those. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, this next one is The Concrete Blonde. Hmm. This is a drink to me. For it feels sure. like we're just naming things after me. Is that not? Uh, right? <laughs> well, you're cla- you're you're definitely definitely you avoid me. me. I mean, you think concrete, like yeah. just you know. Yeah, yes. concrete blonde. I think has to be a drink, but that's like a sex on the beach. Blonde. Yeah, it's gonna be yeah. like a shandy. It's got type milk thing. or egg whites in it for yeah. sure. Well, egg now because I already said drink once, so I want to say drink again. Also, because if sure. I say book and I'm wrong again, but I then just hate my. You'll be humiliated. <laughs> sure. Oh, I'll be so ashamed. Oh God. <laughs> yeah, it feels like it feels like concrete blonde is like maybe it's What's either it? milk. It's either in the milk. milk or egg white family, or. It's citrusy, like a lemon. Yes. Like it's like a pineapple like, yeah. like uh, yeah, but what's a drink that's a blonde? Is that a It's thing? a beer, usually. Yeah, oh, like a yeah. shandy. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, a shandy. It does sound yeah. like a kind of beer that they give out after, like, um, military, like, 10Ks. Like, here's your concrete blonde. Yes. 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 Good job yes. for running it. Oh, yep. Thanks from Tough Mudder. Or, yeah, like, or they like, did that. It's that brewery that your dad always wants to go to, and he, like, he likes one specific drink. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the whole family has to go on Sunday. Day. Yes. And it's uh, that. Yeah. And, and he's all like, all right. Okay. It is a novel. God. Wow. Oh, Look no. like a sinker. They call him the doll maker, a serial killer who stalks Los Angeles. <laughs> oh, that's, that's where, where we, we live. live. Yeah. And leaves a grisly calling card on the faces of his victims. Like the bear. Concrete? When a suspect is shot by Detective Harry Bosch. The TV show? Mm. Of Bosch? Of Bosch. Everyone believes the city's nightmare is over <gasps> until a new corpse is found with the doll maker's macabre signature. Wow. Damn, you can't drink Damn. that at all. <laughs> you can't drink that <laughs> That's up. a story. No, but I would, I would drink that up. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Great book. We don't know if maybe the detective goes to a bar in the novel and then orders sure. a concrete yeah, blonde. Concrete drink blonde. Drink related will take. What if there's no concrete blonde in that? That is just <laughs> the name of the book. <laughs> uh, thank there you. you. Um, okay, the next one is a short trip to hell. Uh, that is a drink. That's a drink because it's it's jokey like a drink would be at like a, yeah. a bad bar. Yeah, the other one ones have been too drinks. serious. Yes. They're novels. This is a drink. It's a dive bar and like a, yeah yeah. yeah. Short trip to hell is like a like Jaeger and a shot or something. Yes, I was a, yes. Now to me this is a horse name. A horse <laughs> race. <laughs> 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 but, horse okay. names are crazy. Yeah. Wasn't one named like Bitcoin recently? Or no, really? that's not true. The one that won. Was that a dream? The race. <laughs> That was not a dream. Yeah, you dreamt that. The one that won the, not the Westminster, because that's for dogs. Oh, Kentucky Derby? Uh, the, the Kentucky Derby. Yeah, like, Kentucky Derby. He had like a crazy name. What I was couldn't it? remember. Uh, yeah, yeah, I couldn't tell you. Bitcoin. Bitcoin, probably. Bitcoin. Um, I would love a one horse in the Westminster dog show also, oh, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's a big dog. This, this is a big boy. <laughs> that, that, it's, but the horse is two guys in a horse costume. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, has everyone put their guesses in? Drink. drink. Yeah, it's got to be a drink. It is indeed a drink. Yeah. Um, Name and it. it sounds delicious. It's peach, strawberry, wildberry schnapps. Did someone say schnapps? No. Um, at <laughs> Red Bull and <laughs> Jägermeister. <laughs> someone said Jägermeister. Jäger. Wow. Um, very well done. Does it say where? Where it's from? Um, it's actually in the dark void. The moon <laughs> void? God damn it. Oh, yes. <laughs> it just says abyss in the forgotten yeah. language. Weird. Yeah, very strange. So just like a little fruity, spicy <laughs> drink. Yeah. Very, very fruity. Ooh, that sounds, yeah. this that one's sounds hangover. This yeah. one's going to be fun because you just don't know. <gasps> uh, Widow's Kiss. 
Ooh, this is a fun Ooh. one. A book. That's like what Evil Knievel did to like break his leg or something, you know? Like, that's like a, like <laughs> yeah. a daredevil. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's like a stunt man. Like, it you can't like, do that. It sounds like the name of like a pass in like a western. You know, like the yeah. 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 down past yeah. Widow's yeah. Kiss. <laughs> that's the last thing you'll ever see. This is a fun third uh, beat to this game is us making just a third thing. What else? Yeah. Yeah. Third else third category. Yeah. Anything else. Yeah. 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 Um, I'm going to say it's a book because I've been wrong on everything so far. And I'd like to just keep the streak going. Mm. To me, it's uh, it's a it's a strawberry uh, shot mm -hmm. that makes your lips darker, like you know, like or like your teeth. So it's like a widow's kiss. Like you're like you, oh, you have the lipstick kind of. I like that. Screws up your teeth. And yeah, mouth. Oh. yeah. Because if you kiss a widow, it'll screw up your teeth and mouth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, I mean, we, we all know this. this. <laughs> yeah. To me, it's a book about. Spiders. <laughs> it's Charlotte's Ooh. Web. <laughs> like a black widow. Like a black widow. Oh, are you kiss. thinking of the famous comic Spider Man? Is that. <laughs> yes, of the man <laughs> with the costume. Yeah, just yeah, another yeah. man in a yeah. Porsche. Yeah, just, <laughs> just another, another man, in, man a Porsche, in a Porsche dressed like a spider boy. <laughs> spider boy. Spider team. It is a drink. Ah, wow. uh, cocktail Damn. with uh, apple brandy, Benedictine, mm. and mm. yellow chartreuse. Two of those, not sure what they are. What? Yellow chartreuse is a color. It's two was colors. A stone. Yeah, yellow chartreuse is two colors, yeah. and that's not a drink. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is making me realize how little I know of mixology. Yeah. And books. And books. <laughs> I know no, nothing I guess. I need to go drink it's, more, is what this is saying. Yeah. Yeah. Not read yeah. more books. You guys want to ditch this and go drink? <laughs> Should we leave it now? Yeah. Uh, Should we? Are oh, we done? Let's oh, go drink. Well, the uh, it is uh, 4 p.m. It is 4 p.m. on a Tuesday, so. Uh oh. Uh oh, indeed. Uh oh, this one. A fog cutter. Now, this to me is a Pokemon move. This is <laughs> definitely yeah. it's a grass type. This is a <laughs> slang name for a fart. Yes. Yeah, to me, this is Ryan after he's had a little bit too much salsa. Ooh. <laughs> and boy, do I love salsa. salsa. Yeah. You gotta stop drinking he that. It <laughs> it up. Oh. I used to do that at Baja Fresh. I would go to Baja Fresh and get uh, little cups of the salsa and then and just, just drink it. And just it? honestly, just really? eat, eat and drink it. Yeah. Chunky or light? Good question. Uh, this actually was Pico, so it was. Chunk. I mean, Chunky. it was it was just all tomatoes. You were drinking pico. Yeah, I was drinking. Wait, would pico. you go and pound it in store? It would you like take it? Go. I would pico. get a burrito or something, and then I would get like way too much pico in those little things, and then I would just be. I have too many, and then I just after you ate eat them all. I used yeah. to love half and half, just drinking a ton of those as half, a kid. Mm -hmm. They're so good. It's just so much fat and cream and <laughs> it's milk. Delicious. Oh, I was like. Dessert. Okay. This uh, this kid I went to high school with, he uh, came to like uh, like an activity or something we had, and he was not looking very good. And I was like, "Are you okay?" And he was like, "I just ate an entire bottle of whipped cream." And he, I was like, "Why?" And he was yeah. like, "Well, I saw it said only ten calories." And, I, and then and then I saw it was one hundred and twenty <laughs> servings. <laughs> so he ate twelve hundred calories <laughs> worth of whipped cream, and he was just sitting there the whole day. <laughs> Uh, but he just like sat at home, and he thought it was he was eating air. Like yeah, he was yeah. like, oh, this yeah. is nothing. You could just. He was like, I don't. He, it's he was, wild. He cared enough to read about the calories, but couldn't do the math. The math, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did yeah. not see the hundred, the yeah. big one hundred and twenty yes. servings. I mean, that gets me all the time too. I'm like, oh yeah, it's only hundred calories, but there's like three servings in a bag, and it's like those aren't right. <laughs> <laughs> bags a serving. Uh, the hundred um, little calorie bags. What is what is a fog? This feels like a book about a small town, and mm -hmm. there's uh, there's a small sheriff. <laughs> He's very a small, small time. very small, small. Yeah. A small sheriff. Small and uh, the power goes out, or like sort of like a the mist situation. Sure. He's yes. got to go up through the hillside yeah. to make sure everybody in his small his very small very small town mm. yeah. is is okay. Now this I is mean. a small. Just two guys in a tub. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's right. It's Ryan and I. Yeah. Uh, is this your guys' pilot idea? This is our, and guys, this is a nice time to pivot into our pilot okay, presentation. Okay. Well, someone slipped this card in with their pilot. <laughs> yeah. All right. A fog cutter is a cocktail Dang. of gin, Smoky cognac, drink. sherry, rum. This is just all the liquors. Okay. Gin, cognac, sherry, rum, brandy, orange juice, lemon juice, almond flavored syrup. How many? Uh, is there any pico in it? No. <laughs> no, no pico. Oh. I'm just gonna look at it again just to make sure there's no pico. Almond flavored syrup is the closest. Which is something they use Closest notoriously to in baking. To 
Is almond right? flavoring is in baking like amaretto? a lot. Amaretto? Uh, <laughs> like you, like if you've ever had like, you know how some cookies taste a little bit weird? Like there's that like sweet bitterness to them, like a frosted cookie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's almond flavoring in a cookie. Mm-hmm. And like some sugar cookies have it and some don't. And as I'm saying this, I'm realizing this is something maybe only I know. And yeah, it, I mean, and it is weird. Right. It no, is weird. Okay. Uh, but I my, believe you on this. One. You yeah, ba- this one we're gonna support. Do you I bake don't a bake. lot. Uh, my grandparents grew up in a small town in Minnesota that had a bunch of like Dutch bakeries, oh, and they cool. use a lot of almond flavoring. Oh. And my mom hates almond flavoring. And every time we got a cookie, she'd be like, "I don't want any. I don't like almond flavoring." And that's got it. I, I don't know how I Is got that, so far on this. Anyone say oh. almond? No. no, no. I got laughed out of too many bakeries, so I switched to almond. Oh, you really? said almond? almond, 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 and the chipmunks. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a thing that you got a lot? Of? <laughs> yeah, the bakeries. They're like, you mean like Alvin and the chipmunks? <laughs> got you. Right. Another roast got at the bakery. Roasted. We got it again. Still no sales yet, um. but we roasted another one. <laughs> I run out crying. Um, <laughs> They're notorious that's an, for like that's enough. The, that's it. The chipmunks. Let, should we re- move on to the next? Segment? Yes, uh, the next segment is. Um, so we usually read a rejected college humor sketch Ooh. that one of us wrote. And uh, I jokingly last time said, hey, I got a rejected mod sketch that I wrote. And a mod is, is. Uh, a, a sketch uh, house team thing at UCB, mm-hmm. at Upright Citizen Grey Theater. Um, and so we're going to read this mod sketch I wrote a while ago. Mm-hmm. Wonderful. Exciting. Uh, very exciting. And I'm just going to say the reason this never got put up anywhere is because I was too cheap to make it. Ah, sure. <laughs> That's a funny reason. Um, so, uh, Lily, why don't you play juror number four? Okay. Ooh, spicy. Um, spicy. Ryan, why don't you play jury foreman? All right. And then, um, Callan, why don't you read jury number one? Got it. And two. Got it. And I'll do three. Mm. I think that's all the characters. Oh, and then we'll just pick it up as we go. Sweet. I'll do the stage. Okay, this is called uh, Gorilla Jury. Love it. Uh, Interior, jury deliberation room day. Lights up on five jurors and one gorilla. Jury members, as your foreman, I'll count initial votes for this charge of murder in the first degree. Everyone okay with that? Everyone agrees. Uh Uh-huh, uh-huh. So, I didn't say anything during the trial because we weren't allowed to speak, but does anyone else notice that uh, juror number five is a silverback gorilla? Look, buddy, uh, juror number five went through the same jury selection process we did. Uh, The state deemed her intelligent enough to become a citizen of these United States. And just like the rest of us, Bobo Larry here is obligated to fulfill her civic duty and serve on a jury. Now let's count the votes. Doesn't Bobo Larry have a handler or something? How are we supposed to communicate with it? Juror number five did have a handler, uh, but she did not pass jury selection. For a zookeeper, she turned out to be very racist. (laughs) Meanwhile, juror number five... Just call it Bobo Larry. Whatever. Let's uh, count the votes. Guilty, 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 (laughs) guilty, guilty, banana. Well, we almost could have gone home, but one of us voted banana. I'm pretty sure it was the gorilla who voted banana. (laughs) It's a secret vote. You don't know who voted for what. We all wrote down our vote on paper ballots. You received five paper ballots and one physical (laughs) banana. I think maybe it's the juror who doesn't know how to write. Ooh, an awkward beat. (laughs) Uh, Well, let's just talk it out, all right? Uh, All opinions are valid here. I can see how the defendant is guilty, and I can see how the defendant can be banana. What does that even mean? It could mean the defendant is yellow on the outside, like cowardly, and he killed out of fear, so it's not premeditated. Or it could mean he's uh, one in a bunch, and there are co-conspirators involved in the murder. Or it could mean the gorilla wants a goddamn banana. Uh, I don't think so. These are great points. I've heard enough. Uh, Let's vote again. Juror number four stands up. If we believe in the rule of law, then we should go and tell the judge right now to call a mistrial. Yeah, it could have been a conspiracy. Rumor <laughs> No, because of the monkey. Everyone settle down, all right? We have one job, and it's to vote. Juror, juror, the jurors hand in their votes. Guilty, 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 banana, banana. Hmm, didn't see that coming. I'm telling y'all, the gorilla is going to vote banana all night. We're going to be here for weeks sequestered with this dumb fucking gorilla. And why is it so goddamn hot in here? We're all sweating like pigs except for the monkey. Well, you can't freeze the monkey. He's from the jungle. (laughs) Juror number four goes up to Bobo Larry. I'm trying to get the fuck out of here and go to a Mets game. You either vote guilty like the rest of us or at least vote not guilty. Do you hear me? 
There's a beat. Bobo Larry sneezes in jury number four's face. The bailiff knocks on the door. The jury foreman walks over and gets a bag of food. All right, guys. uh, Food's here. We might as well eat if we're going to be here all night. Uh, All right, let's see. Chinese. 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 Banana. Uh, Who got the banana? The goddamn monkey got the banana. Here's the banana you ordered. Juror number four aggressively hands the banana over. The gorilla grabs him and starts petting him. (laughs) Juror number four struggles for a bit and frees, uh, finally frees himself. All right, enough horsing around. All right, let's vote again. I'm telling you, it's going to be the exact same goddamn result. Well, then I guess we'll be here until the end of time, until we figure it out. You know what? Fuck it. Let's just all vote banana. I'll vote banana, too, and we'll just go back in there and tell the judge we find the defendant banana, whatever that means, because nothing matters anymore since there's a gorilla in a cumin jury. All right. I'm in. Uh, Let's vote. They vote. Foreman collects. Banana. 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 And guilty. Who voted? You got to be fucking joking me. Who voted guilty? The bailiff enters. Sorry, jurors, but there's been a horrible mistake with the jury selection process. You think? We're going to swap one of you out with the alternate. All right, juror number two, you should have told us you were the defendant's cousin. Get out of here. Juror number two leaves Banana Man wearing one of those banana costumes enter. Here's your new juror. I know what you're thinking. I was just working at the county festival when I got the call. Whoa, cold room in here, huh? What did I miss? The gorilla rushes Banana Man and eats him. (laughs) Everyone looks shocked. Actually, I ordered the banana. <laughs> Blackout! Wow. 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 wow! wow! Now, you just wouldn't pay for one banana, correct? <laughs> yes, that, uh, the bananas were too expensive. Banana <laughs> and a gorilla costume. Yes, the banana was uh, at a time during a banana shortage, so it was quite expensive. <laughs> sure, yeah. <laughs> I remember when bananas used to be $100 a piece. Yeah. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Uh, banana yeah. inflation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. It is. There was several. Um, were you going to have the props as the takeout, too? Uh, is that going to have to be a prop? I guess that would have been a prop, too. Empty, but you can just have bags. Yeah, that's true. But the costumes just have bags. are probably what costumes drove the pot. The You're yeah. missing the costumes. The costumes. Well, but aren't you, can't you always borrow costumes from other people? Just ask around. I don't know. If, I didn't know if anyone had one. Did, did you and ask? I, did you I didn't ask. ask. Oh. I never asked. Yeah, well, I never right. asked. You wrote a five pa- Apologize. Ask now. Yeah. Apologize. Well, if anyone has a gorilla costume, send it here. Ask them to mail it to you. You can just mail whatever you want He's already got a... Turkey? turkey and turkey. send me a gorilla costume, yeah. but for different reasons. Yeah. <laughs> and what reasons would those be? What? Uh. <laughs> ASL. 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 Sex, sex language. language. <laughs> um, I will say, when I was a kid, my very old Chinese grandmother would like sometimes mail me stuff for Halloween for fun. Uh, and like as a little girl, you want to be like a witch, a princess, a very, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, one year she mailed me just in a bag, and I pull it out. A truly horrifying rubber gorilla mask with big holes for eyes and just hair. Oh my gosh! And with big teeth, like a big mouth, a big red <laughs> mouth. Oh my and she God. was like. It was on sale. So would she send you costume stuff every year? She would just send me stuff sometimes, but I just very specifically remember she sent me this truely terrifying gorilla (laughs) mask, and I was like, thank you. Put it on and like, I just like, like, like scare friends. I use it to scare friends. I never like went (laughs) out in Halloween wearing it. I have a lot of friends, and it's because I don't scare them. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah. So if anybody was like, if anybody was like, you know, like I don't have very many friends, is it because I'm scaring too many people? (laughs) Yeah. 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 It's probably a part of it. That's usually the reason people don't have friends. Too scary. I agree. Yeah. 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 Halloween's a tough time for everyone. I think. Yeah. Uh, Why is that? Oh, it's just scary for everyone. Yeah. It's too scary for you. Yep. Why are you guys shaking your hands? <laughs> yeah, for the uh, listeners. For the only yeah. the listeners, they just shook hands after agreeing. And that's, and that's why you got to get on the video oh, so you can yeah. see a little bit. You're never like going to get to see a, such a such a good handshake. Oh, yeah. it was right. Good handshake. You couldn't wow. see our outfits, nope. Kellen's outfit. My yeah. uh, what has Boy, been deemed a teen, teen outfit. outfit. <laughs> um, for what there was one Halloween one year where I wanted to go as Albert Einstein. I was like in 4th grade, like a child, like Science is cool. Let me yeah. be the science guy. And the closest like hair that you could get was from a store bought. It was Don King, the boxing promoter. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> that is similar So hair. I got the hair and I was going around. I had like this big uh, like coat and a science book and I would go to house to house and every house was like, Don King, <laughs> there he is. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. insane that they all recognized Don King. Yeah. That is a very specific pop cultural moment. Wait, wait, what year is this? This was like probably 99. Oh, so this is like, this is huge because it's like, 
Mike Tyson's around. Guess, He's yeah. on TV. Yeah, I remember watching stuff then. <laughs> yeah, you remember yeah, that time? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but I had a mustache too. I guess Don womb. King has a mustache. But did you know? Did you learn Don King facts? <laughs> I mean, I learned it quickly. Or <laughs> were, you we- were you wearing a name tag that said, "Hi, I'm Don that King"? Was part that might have given yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Says, "I love me. Mike Tyson." Yeah. <laughs> I don't know who Don King is. <laughs> not really. I love exploiting Mike Tyson. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Bite yeah, that ear. Yeah, I told him. Bite that ear. That's all the Mike Tyson I really knew as a kid was that he wow. bit an ear off. That's yeah, the same. scary movie. Do you, have you seen that scene hmm? in scary movie where they, oh. they they just keep biting the ear off? I have not. It's one. No. It's like I don't. I, there's you know there are like a hundred of those movies. Sure. Yeah. So it's one of them. First one, pretty good. At Funny movie. Yeah. Funny mm-hmm. movie. Um, well, speaking of scary movie, uh, let's move on to our listener questions. Great. Um, Ooh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, Ooh, all a right. long boy. Not too scary. So this is a long one. Um, but uh, if you're on the Discord, you can always send us questions. We'll not answer them. Um, not too scary. Please, not scary. All right. So this one comes from Lexi. Hey, all you beautiful writer people. Oh. So next year I graduate with my MFA in creative writing. I'm going to be totally honest. I'm completely terrified. I guess I can only put off the real world for so long. So here's a question. How did y'all find your start in writing professionally? I feel like there's so many options and outlets out there, but my colleagues all want to be teachers, so I'm kind of drifting this weird, freaky void of, well, I want this job or that job or maybe this one somehow. Seriously, like I just love to hear your stories because in my eyes are all success stories. Wow. 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 Well, I mean, you're going to be a great writer because that was long. It's true. That was and good. That's yeah. the long and that's, thing. And for that writing. is, I mean, if George R. R. Martin has taught us anything, long and don't long finish it. Long is, is good. good. Yes. Yeah. Um, I guess. Well, I got this job that made me into a professional writer technically by uh, taking sketch classes and continuing to write sketch comedy for. Like three to four years. Yeah, that was my. That's my path. Mm-hmm. I also feel like me. I, me, I think I maybe saw and responded to this question on Discord, or I saw it and then did not respond. You dreamt, um, it. You dreamt it. I dreamt it. Mm. I am Whoa. dreaming this question. <laughs> I'm scratching it um, up and says Lily on here. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I was gonna say I understand that pressure. To like Lexi was saying that like oh a lot of their peers are going in to like teaching or whatever one way or another when like a lot of people who do the same things you go one way I think you just have to listen to yourself and like you do not have to feel obligated to go down the same path and use your degree in the same way a degree can be used in so many different ways one of my best friends just got a like a PhD in English and like was maybe going to go down like academia and then just like decided like she liked administrative working with students Mm -hmm. like oh yeah kind of work better and just like changed and did that path and then like your wants and goals will change over time and you just have to listen to it that's assuming the job you want is accessible to you in the sure, first sure place. sure yeah and that's sure. the tricky part i mean my thoughts on it are it's so much a persistence and endurance game mm-hmm. in terms of you doing your thing because i mean yeah. i think even if you were to look at anyone here or anyone in a professional writing environment it's also hard to base your where you're at versus them because it's also such a fleeting thing in a way where yeah. everyone comes into their spot at different times and it's not a forever thing. So it's like I think as long as you get the reps and enjoy the process of doing yes. it and with people that you enjoy doing it with, that will set you up for I think what you want to do and it will also like make it a little less precious or at least it did for me to just be like, "Oh, I've now enjoy the process of doing it." Yeah. So there's less of a if I don't get this, then my life is over. Yeah. Yeah, I my thing is is like there are so many avenues now for you to make stuff on your own totally. versus like 10 years ago when you had to like know somebody or have the resources of the money like it, it's all like especially like I, I mainly work in social so like that's but that's how I got to doing anything was because it was like oh I'm gonna start tweeting a bunch yeah. because it teaches me to write a joke every day and then yes. now I can write like you know jokes and then now I'm making stuff all the time and it's like finding whatever that specific thing is for you like I wanted to be a joke writer so I was like I'm gonna find a way to write jokes every day. Totally. Whatever your thing is, find that avenue. Cause like there are forums and like channels and stuff for yes. like for you guys, you know, sketch, like there were, there were, you went to a place where that was like, oh, I'm gonna be around people who are doing the same thing and making the same thing. Mm-hmm. And and that, I mean, I feel like that's it. That's it's, yeah. it's learning the process, liking the process, yeah. doing the process. I also think if even if you don't immediately get to do the thing that you wanna do, if you do the thing that you are doing, 
the best you can and find like things to learn from it, it can indirectly end up leading you to other things you like. Cause I feel like I backdoored my way into sketch writing. I didn't write a lot of sketch. I just did a lot of improv, a lot of acting, a lot of comedy sure. and that like ended up becoming writing. And yeah. I think that to that point, there, that's the importance to me of being around people equally or, or more funny than you are to get you in an environment where you improve. Yeah. Because I think left, totally. at least for me, like I got so much better the second I started being with people that were very good. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that was part of it too. Yeah, being in an environment where you're constantly getting putting your work out there and then also getting feedback on it and kind of going through and seeing yeah. like, oh, this is like what didn't go as well as I thought it would and just having that constant loop so you can like think about how to improve yourself because it's like all, it's like a, like art is such a, like a personal journey. You kind mm -hmm. of figure out your own way of like what works for you and what like productivity method like works for you and stuff like that. Totally. Yeah, and like, I mean, writing is such, you end up isolating yourself so yeah. much. Like, I think a yeah. lot of us are probably more drawn towards just like, I'll just do it myself or like, I'll go, sp I'll just go lock myself away and do this thing. And like, yeah. the more you can be around those people that are like, yeah, that like intimidate you funny wise or like are you, you're like that I could never like but you can be around them and like genuinely be their friend you learn yeah. so much so fast totally yeah totally agree wow next quest next quest next quest next okay. quest let's go ooh right this one's from Colby Jack do you ooh, use an cheese ooh, the cheese the cheese, cheese can sense. write cheese can yeah. write can write good impressive do you use analytics and SEO to cite concepts for sketches slash shows slash posts or do you decide what to write purely by what you think is funny Sometimes I get frustrated that everyone in my job is so data focused, so it would be great to hear that either it's important everywhere or that there are still some jobs that aren't beholden to something that I find incredibly cold and creativity draining. That's a very good question. That's a great question. That's a good Sorry, question Shane. for social boys. Yeah, that's like right up our alley. Yeah, I think- We for, talk about this a lot too. Yeah, I think for me it's it's a battle of always trying to want to do the stuff that I think is funny, but it's you are working for a company and need to be making stuff that is either trending or in some right. capacity what everyone's talking about. So it is it's kind of a dicey walking the line of, and I don't think I do it, it's such a great thing. Like, sure. uh, I don't know how you do one or the other, it's kind of a mix. Um, yeah. You, yeah, it's weird because for both of us, our thing kind of became our own thing. Right. Like in our independent social lives. Uh, but for us, at least our process right now, because we're we're newer and it's like more in the early phases, it's a lot of like, how can we put a spin on what's going on in the like in in the pop culture bubble? Yeah, that is relevant to our senses of humor as individuals because we're creating it. The company's sense of humor or like brand mm -hmm. because yeah. that's who we're making it for, mm -hmm. and then by using that hopefully the audience is like engaging with it because it's in the main conversation yeah. and it's like a really weird segmented like okay we think this is funny can we do we need to tweak it because it'll appeal to the audiences yeah. that way and does it align with the company totally. like how the company is presenting itself yeah. as well how's it for sketch um i mean i we get but there's no like l like parameters really. Besides yeah. like some every once in a while, we'll be like, yeah. let's try to pitch to like repeatable prompts yes. or whatever. For the most part, I feel a lot of like freedom to just yeah. write whatever I want to. But I don't mind prompts. I think prompts are helpful. It's not helpful always to have just like the vast expanse of oh, anything. Limitations are helpful, and also I think like. Um, I don't know, like I think like having integrity in your work and doing what you want is great, but at the end of the day, like we are making stuff to be consumed. So no matter what, there always is a relationship between us and an audience, whether that's like we want uh, a lot of people to like it or we want people to think it's really artful or whatever. Mm -hmm. the, it, it, response is a factor of that equation. We're not making it for nobody. Yeah, sure. Like you'll pitch something and it's like, you guys ever like, do you guys know about this thing? And everyone's like, I have no idea what we're talking about. You're like, okay, well, I can't write a sketch about yeah. that because only I know about yeah. it. It's such a weird feeling. Yeah. 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 Um, I like writing with parameters. I, I say this analogy a lot, but um, I, I love, there's that scene in like, I don't, I don't think I've even seen the whole movie, but in Apollo 13 where they're like ship their spaceship is all screwed up, uh, and then down in like NASA world, they're like 
all the engineers are gathered in a room and they like have a box of all of like the items yeah, yeah, yeah. that they have on the yeah. spaceship and they're like we have to get like this like circular tube into this like box hole or whatever we have these items how do we do this like yeah. I love that just writing with parameters of just like I need to make something funny with like these things in them that is for me like way uh, easier for me to write than sure. like yeah. sky's the limit do whatever you want it's also easier on your mind absolutely because like when it, like you have this pocket of things you can pull from and combinations and stuff versus like, okay, I have this idea and now yeah. I've got to frame it and now yeah. I've got to, like, it's, I, I prefer that. For sure. Uh, I think it's harder than having to come up with a funny specific of nouns not related to anything oh, at absolutely. all. That's why writing those breaking news sketches can be so hard no, sometimes. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was tough. <laughs> yeah. tough. The flip side of that is also though, when you have to write, like you've done like a, a packet for like a late night show, where it's like super topical and super specific. topical and there's only so many like types of punchlines you can write for mm -hmm, like yeah. a Bernie Sanders joke like you can only joke that he's like old and says like uh, talks about like percentages a lot like those are the only real punchline <laughs> that you have available to you you're like I can't and those there's, I mean there's nothing else buckets, about him there's, there's nothing like, else yeah, that's all, that's yeah, all yeah, I know yeah. about those are, yeah, and, yeah. The, and here's the thing about comedy I mean it's percentages it's, being old, and, and being that's, old and that's what you've come to learn yes. Kellen and, that's, I, and I can't wait to grow up and just kind of yeah. really understand you know that the only jokes you can make about Bernie Sanders are that he talks that's about percentages. <laughs> <laughs> that's all you have. That's all you have. Try to write one, you know, whatever it is. Yeah. No, but it's Try like that That Conan writer released her, uh, like, segues or, like, her, like, structure uh, oh, yes. breakdown where she's like, if you are if you need setups and, like, how, like, this is how we, we format everything. And it was like, yeah. it, it's such a methodical, like, that's almost too much for me. Yeah. yeah. Like, there's that happy mathy. medium. Yeah. yeah. It is very, it's, yes. Um, yeah. All right. Well, our next question. Random question: Is the House of Cards on the wall of props standing on its own? Grab of course, it. Audrey absolutely. Mack. Grab it. Grab it. Can grab, who it. Can grab, grab it. it. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. I'm missing the beat grab so far. It. Grab, <laughs> it. grab it. Grab it. Grab it. Huh? It's, not, it's, it's, together it's as not as together as we may have thought. Oh wait, bring it so in. Bring it in. in. Can you bring, bring it in? It in. There we go. Oh, there yeah. we go. So I guess the answer to this question is a little bit of both. <laughs> yeah. It, it it's is, held together. It, it was at one point held together and is now falling apart. But uh, It looks pretty oh, good to me. Good. I like that that was a nice active question. Yeah. 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 It was this right is, in the room. Oh, our bodies? Yeah, yeah. our bodies. I'm yeah. sorry. Uh, our bodies? Yep, yeah. We all moved, yep. Our um, bodies, our minds. Wow. I felt like, I, and here, I don't want to be I don't want to be this guy, but it just kind of felt like I did all the work on that. No, we no. were moving when we were saying, yes. grab it. We were momentum building, you know? Yeah. Hmm. Well, it just kind of, I, I just, yeah. my role feels a little diminished, and that's fine. Okay, well, uh, on that note, I think that <laughs> wraps up. <laughs> On a passive aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Maryland State flag. Maryland State flag. Yeah. Check it out. Uh, <laughs> search, Google image, search the flag. Check out Terrapins. They mostly live in sewers. They mostly eat pizza yeah. and are trained in martial, if you have a various turtle, martial arts. Feed it some pizza. Stay yeah, that's walk good. Walk away from a moose. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so def from and moose. and don't definitely don't ride one of its swimming because then you will end up in a killer whale's belly. Yeah, yeah. which what? could be fun if you're a little fun. wooden boy. If you're a little wooden boy who was just smoking cigars boy. and getting. Drunk. So That's just keep fun. this all in mind. Keep yeah. this all in mind. Catch me at Baja Fresh eating salsa. It's Pico. Um, that's it. That's it. Bye. Bye. Hey, it's Teo. If you like college humor and want to support us, sign up for Dropout. For the low price of a small bag of catnip, you'll get videos like this a whole week sooner. To chat with us live on the Dropout Discord and get exclusive content like WTF 101. <clears throat> in the ocean, there's Sign up for your free trial today, unless you hate fun, which if you do, come to my party on Saturday. It won't be fun at all.